Hello, Year 8. Um, just uh, posting a video to go with your work for this week. Um, and we're going to be doing that every week from now on. Okay, just a quick explanation. It may help you. And just to give you a bit of an idea and some help on pronunciation. Okay, all right. Um, I'm going to show you the... I'm going to present the, the PowerPoint that you've got this week. Okay. Which is, te gustaría ir al cine. Okay, and we're going to work on the conditional tense. This um, I won't take too long going through it. Te gustaría ir al cine is the conditional form, right? Okay. Um, you can normally tell it from ia, all right? And that's, would you like to go to the cinema? Now, just as your little starting thing, you do it now. It's uh, we've got some places around town. So Centro Comercial. Where are, where are we? Centro Comercial is shopping centre. El Parque. El Polideportivo. Now, I, I, if I'm honest, I think you might have got a park. Sports centre. Um, I'm always going on about this one. It seems fairly straightforward, but people don't always get it. So make sure you remember that. It will stand you in good stead in the future if you do GCSE. Museo, Museum, La Bolera, which everyone seems to remember is the bowling alley. Pista de Hielo. Notice how we say that? It looks like, good way it's spelled, but we say Hielo. Mi casa, my house, all right, okay. So I'm just going to skip through that. Now, conditional tense. Now, you've obviously seen this, um, but I'm going to just quickly go through it. Now, a lot of you don't realise how simple it is to use the conditional. All you've got to do is add ia to an infinitive. So the infinitive of a verb, for example, hablar. So I would speak or talk is hablaria. And that ending is the same for all verbs, all right? Okay. It's not like the past tense that you might have seen where it all starts getting complicated. The ia works for all verbs. I lost my cursor over there for a second. Um, obviously, that's the first person. What makes it simple is that it is the same for the third person. So, for example, and it may explain it further on, but I'm going to say this anyway. I would speak or talk is hablaria. You would speak is hablarias. You put an S on the end. And he or she would speak is hablaria, it go back to that and it makes it really simple to use. All right, okay. Obviously gustaría and viviría. I won't explain why it makes it simple to use gustaría um, because I don't want to overcomplicate matters, but it does, all right, okay. Um, so I would like, and that's the first form that we learn of the conditional. You've probably seen it loads of times before. Um, so I would like to have freckles. I used to have them before I lost them. Uh, um, me gustaría tener pecas, all right? I would like to be more generous. Well, me gustaría ser más generoso. Yeah, I suppose, well, you could try it a bit, right? Okay. So, te gustaría, there explains. So, me gustaría is I would like. Te gustaría is you would like. Remember, you use that in a question. So, for example, te gustaría ir a la cafeteria? Would you like? All right? Okay. Remember, or I'm explaining this, but I don't know if you, if you already know it. That could be a statement. But because we add the question marks, it makes it a question. So, te gustaría ir a la cafeteria? Is literally, you would like to go to the uh, cafe. But we make it into a question would you like to go to the cafe all right okay just to be clear on that um i'm not going to go on about this too much so i'm going to show you this and then probably end it because basically it's using me gustaría with places around town so for example me gustaría, me gustaría ir al cine is i would like to go to the cinema me gustaría ir al museo is I would like to go to the museum. Now, think about it. When you're watching this, how would you say, would you like to go to the museum? Well, it's, te gustaría ir al museo. I'm going to move on because it's pretty simple. Park, bowling alley. Okay, all right. I'll tell you what, I'm going to leave you to do that. I'm going to escape.
and go back. And that's basically it. Out of this, what we want you to do is be able to say where you would like to go. But if you can use the conditional in any other way, it really helps you. Okay, all right? So just practice on that. I'm going to stop now. Thanks very much. Take care, all right?